Hi, my name is Mitch Steven, and I've purchased a house about every four to five days in or about my hometown of San Antonio, Texas for over two decades. Now that and seven bucks will get you an expensive cup of coffee at one of those expensive coffee houses down the street. But it just might make you rich if you figured out how I did it. And I'm here today to explain to you exactly the method behind what has created me tremendous wealth over the last two decades. So get your pencil and paper ready. I'm going to give you some examples in a case study using some real numbers. Now, I want you to make one note here. I have rounded or adjusted a few numbers. Don't split hairs with me here. Follow the theory and look at the huge gaps in your favor. All right, here we go. So we'll start this example with an acquisition. I have all the money going out in red here. Let's say we find a house that we can purchase, closing costs and all, $70,000. It's a good deal because we have already done the math and we've already done the research and we know that we can sell the house for 160. So this is a real life example that happened not too far in the past here in my life. So. I'm just breaking down the numbers for you here. Now we're all in at 70, but we borrow 72,000. Why do we borrow the extra 2,000? Now I'm here to tell you, I do about 100 houses a year. If you figure it out, a house every four to five days for over two decades, it's about 100 houses a year for 20 years, okay? Now it costs about $2,000 in advertising money and expense to find a $160,000 house that I can buy for $70,000. Does that make sense? It's not free. These things just don't walk in the door. I'm an expert at finding them, but it costs some money. If I leave $2,000 in every deal, 100 deals a year, how much is that a year? That means I've left $200,000 for one year in advertising laying around out there. If I do that five years in a row, that's close to a million dollars. So I always borrow back my 2,000. What makes it possible to borrow back the 2,000? I'm dealing with private lenders. So I go to my private lenders and I borrow $72,000 from a private lender right here at 6% for 15 years. And I owe this private lender $608 a month for 15 years. That's 180 payments, okay? Now, here's the terms of my private lender loan. Number one, it's non-recourse and it's collateral only, which means if I ever can't make this payment, I just owe them my position in the property. Or if I didn't go give it to them, they would file foreclosure on me and they would get the property and, but they don't have any other recourse against any of my other assets or me personally. It's a collateral only loan. Their only recourse, if they don't receive this money, is to receive that house or the note on that house, whichever it is. Now, my commitment to my private lenders has always been the same. If I can't ever make this payment, you'll never have to foreclose on me. I will walk my position over to you. And if I own the house, then I'll walk over the deed. If I have a note on this house, then I'll walk over my note. But it's never happened in my 27 year career. And I don't see it ever happening because there's too much money in it. And I'm too good a steward of my money. So, and I'm going to show you where the money is here in just a second. Beyond that, it's payable monthly. Why do I pick payable monthly? It's because I could get my private lender's degree to take annual payments where I only had to make one payment a year. But two things. One is they would have a lot of anxiety for 12 months to find out if I'm an honest guy. Whereas if you're paying monthly, every 30 days there's a check-in. Yep, it's the first again. Mitch is still honest. Yep, it's the first again. Mitch is still honest. You know, the anxiety level comes way down. Every 30 days there's a check-in. Then the number two reason is, you know, I like to stay even every month. 
I pay my bills every Friday for all my contractors. Everything I owe, I pay on Friday. When I have payments, they're all due at the first of every month. I pay. So I can get a snapshot of whether I'm behind or ahead every 30 days. I got that number, and I like it that way. Last but not least, this loan from my private lender is wrappable, which means I'm going to buy this house and owe $72,000 on it. I'm going to give my lender a first lien. It's a first lien, you know, and I owe him 6% for 15 years. These are the terms of this note. It's a pretty protected position, isn't it? He's loaned $72,000 in a first lien position on a house that I'm going to sell for $160,000. By the way, I average four days on the market right now. It's May of 2021. Before COVID, I averaged nine days on the market. After COVID, I averaged four days on the market. Go figure. I don't know why, but it's almost unbelievable. Four days on the market. And may I add, I don't even put any signs out to sell my houses anymore. I don't even put a sign in the front yard. I have my own ways of selling on Facebook and through livecom.com, which is a sponsor. You know, it has to do with mass texting and cell phone capture. That I don't even need signs anymore. So... This is the acquisition side. Got it? $72,608 a month, 15 years, 6%. Gave my lender a first lien. Now, we're going to walk over here to the sell side. In the last 100 deals, I've averaged four to five days on the market. It's down to four right now. I sold this for $160,000 seller financed, meaning I'm going to offer financing if you'll just give me at least 10% down. So this person gave me 10% down. $32,000 is what they gave me down. That means they still owe me $128,000. Now because this note is wrappable, I don't have to pay this lender off when I sell this house to this buyer occupant payer. I financed the $128,000 at 10% for 30 years and they owe me $1,124 a month, okay? So this is how it works. My buyer sends me $1,124 every month, and then I have to turn around every month and send my private lender 608. That leaves me with a positive cash flow of $516 per month for the first 15 years. And then after the first 15 years, because see, I only have a 15 year note. After that, I don't have a payment anymore. And I collect the whole 1,124 the last 15 years. So this is what it looks like. 180 months, 15 years making 516 profit is $93,000 for the first 180 months. Positive cash flow. Then the last 180 months, the 30 years that they owe me here, I don't have a payment anymore. My payment goes away. For the last 180 months, I collect the total $1,124, and that's another $202,000. So if you add these two up, the potential income of this property, not counting late fees, is $295,000. You got to admit, that's not bad for a house that you bought for $70,000 a $295,000 profit. This is why and how I've been able to build tremendous wealth one deal at a time. Every single deal looks a little bit like this. I get paid $32,000 to make sure that I have $295,000 coming to me out in the future. So when Owner financiers tell you that they're multi, 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 multi millionaires in their financials. That's why it's every deal they make, they're owed another $200,000, $300,000, $350,000 out in the future. And it just keeps racking up every deal. So this is why I believe in this seller financing strategy so well. And here's another reason why. You see that $32,000 right up there? You think during COVID or during a recession, this buyer is going to walk away easily from this house? Do you think they're just going to throw up their arms and just, well, what the heck? I'm just going to leave. It's tough times. No, they're going to fight like hell. In COVID, 
we didn't see any increase in our foreclosure rate. What we saw was our foreclosures start to stack up because the courthouses were closed and we couldn't get to them because we couldn't get through the process because the courthouses were closed. So we ended up having 27 people in foreclosure throughout that year and a few months that the courthouses were down and the government wasn't letting us go through the foreclosure system. We had out of 300 mortgages, we had 27 of them that we were going to foreclose on. Guess what happened? As soon as they opened up the courthouses in April, we sent out letters from the attorneys stating they were in foreclosure and how much they owed and that they needed to settle up right now or it's going to be bad news for them and that house was going to go away. 24 of them paid up immediately. 140,000 in the rears came right in the door within days of sending out the letters. You know why? Because of that $32,000 right there. Not only that, they probably had put on new roofs, repainted, added concrete driveways or landscaping or sprinkler systems or fences or outhouses and barns. Who knows? Because when someone owns a house, they make improvements. This is why I like the seller finance strategy over the landlord and the buy and hold strategy. Tenants move in, tear houses down and leave. Buyers move in, fix houses up and stay. It's hard to get them out. I love this strategy and I wanted to revisit a case study of exactly how a deal works. This isn't the best deal I've ever done. It's not the worst deal I've ever done. It's just a run of the mill good deal. It's a good deal, no doubt. It's not mediocre, it's good, but it's not over the top and it happens all the time. So if this appeals to you, check out my book, My Life in a Thousand Houses, The Art of Owner Financing. This strategy is dependable and it's durable and it does good in the good times and it booms in the bad times. So look, if you're interested in this strategy, I spent a lot of time and a lot of detail and a lot of color photos in this book called My Life in a Thousand Houses, The Art of Seller Financing. This book costs about $50. You could get it at Amazon or it's a little cheaper at my website, 1000houses.com. But inside this $50 book, is a million dollars worth of ideas and strategies and exactly my thought process on how I have created millions for myself and helped others create millions. And I'm not BSing here. Literally, when it works for you, it's gonna work. Does it work? Yes, we know it works. Is it gonna work for you? I can't tell you if it's gonna work for you or not because I don't know you, but I know it works and it's worked for a lot of people. Pick up this book, 1000houses.com or at Amazon. Also, if you find these kind of strategies interesting or informative, or if you're getting golden nuggets out of these kind of strategies, please do me a favor, hit those like buttons, hit the share buttons. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. This is Mitch Steven. It's been my pleasure. I hope you jump in, get a copy of this book. It's so worth it.